If anyone's ever had the experience of trying to like just stop doing something, it's really hard. Or going through a breakup, yeah. got to fill the gap with something. You've got to fill the gaps, right? Yeah. And and values help us fill the gaps in really meaningful ways that help us feel more satisfied, not necessarily always happy, but definitely more satisfied in life. So this whole topic, it can feel kind of conceptual and vague, but actually there are really practical ways for us to narrow down how our values help us create meaningful goals and can help mm. us change our relationship with gambling. I'm Nicholas Bloom. I'm a lived experience advisory committee member at the Victorian Responsible Gambling Foundation. Hi, I'm Dr. Anastasia Hronis, and I'm a clinical psychologist. And welcome to Let's Talk Gambling. Today, we're going to talk about values. What are they? Why are they important? Now, I've had a pretty massive journey with working out my values and then trying to actually live into them. Let's start at the start, though. Yeah, big topic. <laughs> what are values? Can you explain what they are? Can you define it for us? Yes. Values are the things in life that are important to us. I like to think of values as a bit of a compass. We use this analogy. Values are like a compass that guide us in mm -hmm. a particular direction mm -hmm. in life. So they're different to goals in the sense that we don't necessarily tick them off and go, yep, I did that thing. So for example, if I have the value of creativity, right? I don't go, yep, I've done creativity onto the next thing. Mm -hmm. It's something that helps guide me in life, take me down particular paths in life. Um, and it helps me feel like life is more fulfilling and meaningful if I'm living my life in line with what my values are. Cool. Okay. I feel the importance. Can you, can you distinguish between that and goals? Cause it sounds like it's kind of in a similar playing field. Yeah. Values are really useful for us to set goals for ourselves. And often people have the desire or the goal to be happy in life, right? So mm -hmm. Many a times when I'm working with clients, I'll say, you know, what do you want out of therapy, for example? They say, I want to feel happy. And I'll often say, like, happiness isn't really an achievable goal overall for us, right? Happiness is an emotional state, just like sadness, like anger, like anxiety, right? But we can aim for contentment and life satisfaction. And when we live life in line with our goals, that's what we can achieve. We won't always be moment to moment happy, and that's okay, that's normal, that's natural but we can foster a sense of overall contentment. So the way goals and values fit in is that I can set goals that are in line with what my values are to help me feel that sense of contentment in my life. So if I use my creativity example, if my value is creativity, I can set a goal for myself to maybe engage in something musical or artistic, and that's gonna help fulfill that value of creativity for me. Cool. So the value is like the umbrella term and maybe the goals is like how we embody it. That's like what fits into the value. Yes. The goal is kind of like what I, what I do to fulfill the value. Yeah. The action. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. I mean, it definitely has me thinking about like me, Nick in my early twenties and like I either didn't really know what my values were, mm. didn't have the right values in place or didn't know how to put them into practice. And a lot of that led to me yeah, just living a, a self-interested life and a selfish life. And part of that was actually once upon a time I worked in the gambling industry. The journey for me has been undoing and deconditioning that over time. So, yeah, that's a that's a journey I'm still going on now. Yeah. And it's I love that you speak to that because it is often so hard for us to know what our values are, figure out what our values are, but then the next step is to actually live life in line with them, right? So even if I do know what are the things that are important to me, the next kind of part of all that is how do I put that into practice? And and for some people that might come really naturally, but for other people it requires a lot of self-reflection. Mm. And there are things in life that can pull us in a direct, different direction to our values. So, for example, people who are struggling with gambling might often report to me that, that they are being pulled by the gambling in a, in a direction that's different to what their values actually are. I might have someone sit in front of me and they say, you know, my family is really important to me. Quality time with my family, investing in, in them is really important. That's a value for me. But actually, I spend a significant amount of time not with them and mm -hmm. instead gambling. So I think values are a really important piece in, in this whole conversation to help people get that alignment. Makes sense. And yeah, speaks to my experience as well from like once upon a time working in the industry whereby, yeah, it, like, 
my values now wouldn't allow me to work in the industry. Yeah. I think that's probably the best way I could speak to it. It's probably part of the reason I'm here as well. Curious for you, like, yeah, could you speak to your values or like what you're most aligned with? Yeah. And to be, to be fair, it probably wasn't until I actually became a psychologist that I started really thinking about these things and how they apply to me. Mm. Before becoming a clinician, I hadn't really thought about what my values are and they perhaps were always there and, and guided me maybe into this profession. But certainly things like help, um, being able to help people is a value for me. Um, I also, I talked about creativity before because that is mm. a, is a personal one for me. I like yeah. sort of creative pursuits, things like, you know, a sense of adventure in life, um, things like a sense of justice and fairness. These, as I've gone on, I've, I've realized more and more what my values are. And I do feel better in myself when I am making decisions or choices that do align with them. But yeah, tell us, do you know what your values are? And well, it sounds like you do. So yeah. what are they and how'd you come to figure them out? creativity is very aspirational for me. I'd love to put it up there, but it's probably not one of the top. Um, I reckon my top value is love. Mm. Love is like, that's the one piece within my life that I'm like, everything for me is bathed in love. All the decisions I make, I try to come from a loving place in terms of self-love and compassion, but also compassion for other people. Um, I think integrity is really big to me something I'm working on a lot. I I now have an awareness of what my values are, but putting them into practice is challenging. And so the goal for me is to be in integrity as much as possible, being honest with myself and honest with other people. Um, I'd say service. So again, I spoke about in my early 20s, like, yeah, just feeling like I was very much focused on myself Mm. and I don't want to demonize myself because that's the journey I had to go on. But now it's more like, how can I help other people? And I'm sure you'd be aware of this, but the more you help people, the more it helps yourself. And so ultimately trying to be in service to other people, which is in service of me. Um, A playfulness as well. Like I love humor. I love cracking jokes. I love seeing the light side of life. Like that's a big one. Um, And then also I'd say, I mean, it's a bit more woo-woo, but something like spirituality, something in that realm. Um, Not a religious person, but I do connect with the idea of like, there's something bigger out there. There's something bigger than me Mm. and I'm just contributing. Like I'm a small, small piece in the pie. Yeah. 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 I think it's so important to, to do that self-reflection and know what our values are. And if I sort of bring this back to gambling for the people who might be listening, who Mm. um, are in some way, maybe considering changing their relationship with gambling or perhaps struggling with gambling in some capacity on a bigger picture, I'd be encouraging people to reflect, whether it's on their own or with a therapist or with a trusted person in their life, what are those things that are important to you? And the the way I like to kind of facilitate people doing this is grab a pen and paper and write down the first things that come to mind. You might be able to come up with maybe five, maybe 10, um, depends on how aware of your values you are, but try and generate a list first on your own. And then Go online, Google values lists, and you will find endless resources of lists and options um, that have, you know, 80 to 100 different values that we might hold. Um, And, you know, we've also got a a blog post on the Gamblers Help website as well that talks about values and lists, some common values that people might have. But find some sort of resource that helps generate some further, further thoughts and ideas about what your values are. And then from that, think about how gambling fits in that if it if it does at all right because often gambling might be that sort of short term pursuit that might make us feel good potentially not always though um but it's often not in alignment with what people's values are mm. yeah you're speaking to my experience because that's literally what I did when I was like what are my values how do I work them out I'm not fantastic with a blank canvas so I went on Google yeah. got a massive list of values and it was like highlight 10 circle five, yeah. <laughs> underline three, you know, wh- whatever the process was. And it kind of helped me break it down. And then it helped me break down. Okay, cool. My value is love. What does that actually mean? How do I actually put that into practice? See, so, yeah, I found that really helpful. And if I can speak like even further to that, right. Mm. When we talk to people in one of the previous episodes, we were talking about you know, what does a therapist help someone do when it comes to changing their relationship with gambling? And I'll often speak to trying to help a person either reduce or stop their gambling, right? 
But if we just take something away from someone and don't give them a replacement, mm. that's really hard to sit with and often not very successful, right? If anyone's ever had the the um, experience of trying to like just stop doing something, it's really hard. Or going through a breakup. Got yeah. to fill the gap with something. You've got to fill the gaps, right? Mm. And and values help us fill the gaps in really meaningful ways that help us feel more satisfied, not necessarily always happy, but definitely more satisfied in life. So this whole topic, it can feel kind of conceptual and vague, but actually there are really practical ways for us to narrow down how our values help us create meaningful goals and can help mm. us change our relationship with gambling. Mm. Nice. Thanks, Dr. A. Thank you. Thanks for tuning in to Let's Talk Gambling and Values. A couple of key takeaways from this. Together we define what values are, distinguish between values and goals, why values are really important and also how they can help a person who's being impacted on by gambling harm or a gambling addiction. Yeah. So if you want to find out more about this, read more, go to the Gamblers Help website. We've got uh, blog posts and articles up on this topic and other topics for you to access as well. Nice. Catch you next time. See you next time.